welcome back to another video today i'll be showing you how to hack your psp go with custom firmware this is an extremely easy tutorial and you must have the latest firmware which is 6.60 and if you don't all you have to do is just connect to the internet via wi-fi and update your device you don't have to do this next step but i like to format my storage device just in case if you are going to do this make sure to back up your files the custom firmware we're going to add to the go isn't that large so just make sure you have enough space, I would say at least a minimum of 10 megabytes. Next we're going to connect our PSP Go to our PC via USB cable. Make sure you're using a very good USB port on your PC. Now we're going to go to walolo.net, I'll have the link in the description below and we're going to download the pro custom firmware which is the latest version c2 and the first link is going to be broken so use the second one and that's going to be a direct link to mediafire and from there you're going to download the file and just wait for it to go also make sure you have the program 7-zip it's going to help you extract the files i'll have a link in the description below so you can download 7-zip and install it if you don't have that program it's very easy to do just install it and you're good to go Next you want to find the file and then we're going to right click and extract the file. Then you can choose a location that best fits your personal preference. I like to use documents because that's where I find it most easy for me to track my files. Once it's finished you want to double click on the new folder and make sure that there are two folders within that one. Alright, so we are ready to copy the new files onto our PSP Go. And you should be able to see the drive under this PC. If you click on that, you should see all the drives that are available. And it should be the one that's called USB Drive or PSP. And mine is called USB Drive for some odd reason, so I decided to rename it to PSP Go so it's easier for me to find. Now all you have to do is open your drive and then copy the two folders from the new file that we just added onto the PSP Go. Okay, now we finalize everything on the device. We're gonna go to games and system storage. From there, we're gonna see three different files. All we're gonna use is the pro update. Click on that and it should load. Now a small options menu should appear and all you want to do is click on X which will install the custom firmware. Once it's all done you should see the option to restart device. Go ahead and do that and you should be good to go. You can now double check your firmware under system settings and it should be the Pro C. You will now have the option to access your Pro VSH menu which allows you to go to recovery menu or just do all sorts of different things which is kind of cool. And you can just simply press select and it should pop up just like this. So the downside about this firmware is that anytime you're rebooting or if you shut down or if it just simply dies, you will lose the custom firmware. And as you can see, the device went back to 6.60. Now it's not completely lost. All you have to do is just reactivate it. So you just go back to your game, go to system storage and then use the pro fast recovery. It should take like five seconds. and then you can just delete the CIPL flasher. We really don't need that file, so you can just go ahead and delete it and just keep the two there. Now you can go back to your system information and double check the firmware, and it should be back to Pro C. If 
finally your PSP Go is completely unlocked, completely hacked or whatever you want to call it and you're now ready to add a bunch of awesome games to it. Right here I have the Super Nintendo emulator and I'm running Donkey Kong so that is super cool. Please subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos like this one. I'll be adding more videos on how to add emulators, how to add PS1 games, and etc, etc. So make sure to subscribe. If you have any comments, please leave them down below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you really enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Take care, guys, and I hope this one was very helpful for you. I'll see you on the next one.